Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we're going to talk about what Luca could be doing in Season 6 of Miraculous Ladybug. I'm so excited. This is my time to shine. Luca has become progressively more important from just being a love interest to being the only person who knows who Ladybug and Cat Noir are. I bet he went home that night and cried himself to sleep like this boy has not known a day of peace since he met Marinette Dupenching. And I hate everything. So let's do this. We all know he left mid-season 5 to go on his holidays under the guise of being safe, but we all know it was so he could try and finally get a suntan. However, some way, somehow, somewhere, Luca ends up training to be a guardian, which I would still very much like an explanation about how that happened, how it came about, you know? <laughs> like, I'm assuming Suhan saw him, although why Suhan and Luca were in the same place since... Suhan was going to Tibet. Where did Luca go on holiday? I don't know. But I'm assuming Suhan saw him and Luca was like, oh my god, I recognise him from that one time in the sewers in Ephemeral. I'll go and ask him how he is. And Suhan was like, hey, I'm kind of struggling. Do, do, you, do you want a job? <laughs> do you want an apprenticeship? <laughs> do you want to work for me? <laughs> I don't know. It's just some high quality networking right there. So I would assume Luca's going to continue with the Guardian stuff. But I'm also like, what about school? The kids are starting a new school this season and since Julika was held back a year it seems that Luca is in the year ahead of her as they are twins are the same age but Julika was held back it doesn't seem Luca was so I'm assuming he's already in the next year of high school along with Soculine so in whatever this new school is looking like I would assume Luca will be there and I would hope he changes back into some normal clothes for school because a this is unfashionable. And B, I don't think we want Lila to know what his side hustle is, which is obviously the more important consequence of the two. She needs to sort out her priorities. So while I think he'll go to school because, you know, he has to, I do think he'll have to give up Kitty section, unfortunately. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. Like, I think he'd be sad about it. But, you know, like, he, he was missing for half of season five and, you know, they managed without him. Uh, however, I do think they will need to replace him um, and they will need a new lead guitarist, sadly, which I'm kind of like, will Luca date whoever his replacement is? I don't know. And honestly, yes, I do feel a bit crazy for shipping Luca with a character that might not even end up existing. <laughs> but that's a problem for me. Anyway, either way, I think school and guardian stuff will be his priorities. And I can see him having like weekly meetings or bi-weekly meetings or whenever the plot decides they need to have a meeting with Marinette and Felix to discuss the state of affairs with the Miraculous. Cat Noir may be her second in command, or I don't know, maybe it's Rina Rouge at this point. <laughs> I don't know, let's screw the title of the show. But I think it'll be Marinette, Felix and Luca, as Marinette is Ladybug and Guardian of the Miracle Box. Luca is a guardian in training and seems more intelligent than Suhan. And he also knows Marinette's and Adrian's identity. And Felix is also aware of Marinette's identity. And he also has, you know, that really heavy plot armor that's gonna help them out. It's difficult. However, Marinette obviously doesn't know Adrian is Cat Noir, so she can't discuss him, but Luca and Felix can. As now Adrian is wearing his amok, Felix will know his cousin is Cat Noir. And I think Luca and Felix will talk about what to do about it, since I would hope as a guardian, Luca has been told who Monarch Daddy was. Suhan seems to know, and since no one likes him, <laughs> I would hope he goes off and travels and does what he needs to do outside of Europe, but Luca stays in Paris to keep an eye on things for Suhan, which I really hope that happens. Please let it happen because I do not like Suhan. <laughs> So even though Marinette is the Guardian and Luca is still a Miraculous user, he will have some role in helping Marinette with the team as she can be a bit irrational at times and we'll discuss with Felix what to do about Adrian. And to be honest, I think Luca will be all for telling Adrian who his dad was. In truth, the opening to season four, he was obviously very upset about Marinette lying to him, hence the goal of his Akuma, and he also wanted to find out who his dad was. He wouldn't want anyone to lie to Adrian and I think Luca would absolutely hold the view that Adrian deserves to know what Gabriel did and it's better that he finds out sooner rather than later. Although I don't think Luca should be the one to tell him, I think that should be Ladybug, but I do think Luca will be there to support Adrian. As far as he's aware, Luca is the only one who knows his identity and we've seen episodes like Siren and Kuro Neko, just how isolated Adrian is with his secret identity. In season four, Marinette telling Alia that she's Ladybug really helped with her mental state as she could offload to someone even if it was only one person she was still able to 
but Adrian doesn't get to do that with anyone. And I know a lot of people want him to tell Nino, and while I think Nino will eventually find out, I really don't think telling Nino right now is a good idea. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not. I think Luca is the perfect pick for this situation. Luca is mega trustworthy and I really feel like, not that I don't think Nino doesn't have Adrian's best interests at heart, but I just feel like Luca in this situation, in terms of emotions as we saw in Wishmaker, he just, he knows what to do. Anyway besties, I'd love to know what you all think. What do you think Luca will be doing next season? I'll see you in the next one.